Welcome to round one of this daily event, and we have a pretty keepable hand, so we're going to keep this. We're not going to mulligan. It's a pretty strong start, one of the best that we can actually have with the turn one Delver into this cloud into counter magic. So we'll keep. He's also kept, and I believe he's on the play. We might be playing the same deck. This could be the mirror match here. So we're going to lead with Delver. Hopefully it doesn't get hit with a daze or a counter spell. Yeah, it looks like he might be mono blue here. He does have Cloud of Faith, so that's going to resolve. And hopefully we'll be able to flip here. He's got a second one, it looks like. So he's going to be able to counter our Cloud of Faith. We might just want to... Oh, wow. Okay, so we just got tempoed out of the game. But he is down to two cards. The Frostburn Weird is going to be a bit of a problem. Here we can play the Cloud, and since we've drawn a second Delver, we can actually play both of these. He's going to beat us down maybe for about 4, 3 or 4, but after that I think we can flip these and probably take over. That's what I'm hoping. Hopefully no days here. Yeah, he definitely doesn't have days because he didn't even leave it as an option. So, yeah, we kind of lucked out there. We're going to hold on to this Gush. We may have to worry about Ninja, but he's really low on cards at this point. So, the thing we have to ask ourselves is, do we want to trade one of our Cloud for his? And I think we might as well, since this is sort of a racing situation, we might as well just trade. And we'll see if he's going to pump and try and race with us. He may have a ninja as well. No, he's just going to leave up counter magic, which is fine. We're not going to gush for a while here. So let's see if we flip. Nope, no flip. And that makes our block pretty bad. We could gush here, but I'm not going to do that. And he may have a spell stutter sprite to block one of our Delvers. So, I still think we attack. We'll play the land out. He's tempoing us pretty bad here. Yeah, I'm not really too interested in playing Ninja. We're telegraphing it, but it doesn't do much for us. I'd rather leave up Counterspell in case he has a Spire Golem. And next turn we may gush if we don't draw land. So he's coming in. He might hit us for about five. We're not winning this race until we get these guys to flip. And he's going to pump this up to three. And we could sprite here if we want. Yeah, we might as well sprite. It could force him to to cast something else. There's nothing really for one we want to counter. Yeah, he's going to sprite our sprite. We're just going to let that happen. We're not going to gush. There's a ninja here. So I'm wondering if I want to gush. Yeah, it's a really tough call. Second ninja is not going to do much for us, but falling behind on cards is pretty bad too. And we won't have this mana during our main phase, it'll be during our end step, or during our upkeep. Guess we're just going to hold it. Um, we could offer the trade at this point, the Delvers are really kind of screwing us up at this point. We trade with one of his guys. We're going to take five next turn, but we'll start drawing cards. This might keep him on the defensive. Yeah, I think it's worth it. And hopefully we draw the land to, uh, to leave up Counterspell. 
But at this point, we're so far behind that I think we want to try and take some control, and maybe we can get there off of superior card numbers. And we do draw the land, so I'm going to leave up Counterspell. And we're just going to pass. I think next turn we'll probably gush. I'm going to let this resolve. And we'll see if he attacks. Yeah, he's going to attack. So I think his last card is a counter spell. Yeah, I think we might as well gush here. We're really just going to try and get up on cards. And he let that resolve. So... I think we'll keep the ninja back, which will keep his bear back. And we'll go ahead and play this Delver. Play a land. And I guess we can AK here. Just to use that extra mana. And we have a bunch of lands and some ninjas. So we'll just hold it. We're definitely on the defensive now. I think we'll trade with the bear if he sends it in. Yeah, we'll trade with the bear. It looks like he's got a spire golem with counter magic backup. But otherwise, we will be somewhat stabilized. He doesn't seem to care that we're... He wasn't worried about a swing back. That's what I'm trying to say. But we have more ninjas... So, maybe we can, nope, but we got a Spire Golem, that's pretty, pretty awesome for us. So, we'll attack with this, and we'll play a Spire Golem. We're at 6, which is very dangerous. Hopefully no days from him. Oh, he let that resolve. So I don't know what his hand is. Could have a snap somewhere. Could ha No, it's probably Spell Stutter Sprite. So he has something that can counter certain cards, but won't counter a Spire Golem. So he can trade the Frostburn Weird by pumping three times. Which I will take, because I think we'd, we're just going to outlast him at this point. Yeah, he's really tanking here. He's going to play a second Frostburn Weird, but he won't be able to attack into the Golem. <sighs> Wondering if we want to fight over this. I think we have to, and we have to just hope that he doesn't have a snap. And then next turn we can try and just hard cast a Ninja. But the Golem is, is pretty good for us. And if this Delver flips, it's really good for us. So does he? Nope. Just an island. So I think we just have to hard cast Ninja. So it put us in a pretty bad position. So he can pump both of these up to three, so we have to chump block one. I think we might use the Delver to do that. We do have this second ninja, though. It's kind of hard to say. Now we're in terrible shape. And we are somewhat flooded. 
Another AK would be nice to draw. If he just comes in with everybody, then we have to block both weirds because he can just kill us. But I think we, I think we just hope that the Delver's going to flip and that's going to stabilize us. I think that's our best chance. So he's got to at least pump the weird once. This is a chump block. It frees up some of our mana. This Delver is really overdue for flipping, so. Played a land? No, he didn't play a land, did he? Nope, he just passed. All right, here we go. Well, that's not too bad, but it's not great either. So I think we're going to bait out with the ninja, or we could just use a ninjutsu. So he could have a spell stutter sprite for the delver. When it comes back, that's not too bad. We have to resolve something. We can resolve, we can cast all three of these guys. Or we can ninjutsu and cast both of these guys. I think we're going to do it. Then again, we may just want to keep this alive. Hmm. What do we want to draw with a ninja? Because we have to block both of these creatures and go to two. Alright, this is... This is a little riskier than we probably should play it, but this is how we're going to do it. And another land. That's good. So we're going to mask the fact that we have Spire Golem. We have to go for it. He may counter it. So he's not. He doesn't have lands. He's just. I don't know what he's sitting on. So he'd be playing out the lands. I have no idea what's in his hand. Which is kind of unfortunate. Piracy charm his own guy to get island walk. Oh. Well, that's gonna just beat me. Actually, we have to block this and block both of these. I mean, he's still going to try and pump, but this maybe makes him think maybe he shouldn't do it, but he's going to. So, good game. Alright, we're down 0-1. We're going to have to try and come back. So, what do we want to do? I think days might be a little too much of a tempo loss. Ninjas don't really get through very well against Frostburn Weirds and Spire Golems, so I think I might take that down. On the play, they're decent, I suppose. I think we want to play our own Weirds. We're going to trade with his. We want to, we want to play Serrated Arrows as well. Probe's nice, but it might cost us a little too much life if we're racing. Um, I can't see what else we would want to take out, so maybe we will take out probes. We lose a bit of information, and we can play Dispel. I don't think we want to play Echoing Truth, because... A lot of our creatures are the same as his, so it would bounce ours as well. And if he does have serrated arrows, 
casting Echoing Truth on that is not actually a good play. So I think we're going to do it like this. We, we're taking out the probes and the ninjas. We have more counter magic. We have still have the card advantage with knowledge. We have the serrated arrows. So we're going to try this out. And we're going to play first. We've got a Delver, a Daze, and a bunch of counters. So I think we keep this. He, may, he has Piracy Charm in the main. So he might be able to charm away our Delver. We do have a Daze for that. He goes to 6. But he is on the draw, so that's mitigated a little bit. And he's got a Delver. I think we might just want to daze this away. It makes our counter spells worse, but this could be enough to, to work in our favor. So I'm going to daze, and hopefully we're going to flip. Wow, we've been really bad at flipping. I haven't played this deck much. I think I did. The Delver was flipping constantly. Okay, he doesn't have anything. <laughs> at least we have enough lands, I suppose. Um, yeah, we'll run into a Spell Stutter Sprite. And we're still kind of in control here. Spell Stutter Sprite is going to resolve because even if he has a ninja, we're really worried about Spire Golem. That's the main thing. It's going to brainstorm main phase. That's interesting. So is he looking for ninja? I don't really know. Cloud of Fey, go for it. And he's coming in, so I think Ninja is what he's got, but I, I'm not sure. I think he may have wanted to leave both back otherwise. And another island. Wow. This is terrible. So we're not going to play Golem, at least until next turn. Okay, so our Delvers have not flipped at all. And he's just cre creating this massive air force. I mean, I don't think he necessarily wants to race here. It's, it's only going to work so well until my Delver flips, and then I can defend. But since my Delver is never going to flip, I suppose it's not really an issue. So he could have Dispel here. If we wait one more turn... Oh, what is this? If we wait one more turn, we have double counter spell. So I am going to wait one more turn. And hopefully we can turn this around. This is kind of awful. I think he's going to try and hit some lands. So he's coming in for three. We're going to 13. Not, not dangerous at all. He's just going to chill. So he's probably got Counterspell and Dispel. So we are fine just running out the Golem at this point. And if it resolves, I still think we'll try and protect it with double counterspell rather than the Cloud of Fae. Alright, so we just fight this battle. Hopefully he doesn't have a daze. And... Looks like we're okay. So I think we're going to cast this now. Now, he might have something that he's like really looking forward to casting, but I'm not sure what that would be. So I don't see him attacking. That would just be terrible. Nope. Not revealing that. So I suppose we could attack with the first golem. We can attack with the cloud of fey. Let's see. How does this work? That you control. I mean, I think it's pretty clear he's just sitting on whatever he's sitting on. 
Maybe it's an exclude or something. I think we play the golem, and then if it resolves, we can attack with the other one. Just get two cards out of his hand. Spell stutter sprite. Yeah, that's fine. Our board's still much better. And he, we're both down to one card, but we have potentially a 3-2 and a 2-4. Now, it should be pretty clear that I don't have a counter. Stormbound Geist is fine. Uh, I don't think we're going to try and snap that yet. Wow. Unbelievable. And, yeah, we're just going to pass the turn. Preordain's fine. Actually, we may have wanted to use the Sprite to counter that. Because the sprite's not going to get much more value. I guess a Frostburn Weird or something. Top. Another Geist. And we only control two fairies, so that's going to resolve. But it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it is when it flips, which is kind of a problem. I do not believe this. I don't feel like I boarded out of... I don't feel like I boarded out of anything. Um, do we need to use a snap now? He's got eight power on the board. We can block the two flyers, the two spell stutter sprites, and we take six and kind of whittle him down from there. We can also flash in our spell stutter sprite. I don't think snapping the stormbound guys does anything because, quite simply, it. Let's see what this is. Draw a card. Because he can just replay it. But now we might want to snap. Okay, he's not even attacking. That's cool. Let's see if we flip. <laughs> this is honestly the craziest thing I think I've seen in a very long time. Holy hell. Well, I'm waiting for something good to happen for us because we're not in good shape. Yeah, I think we're going to just going to try and counter this. I think we have to try and counter this. And he's got a counter spell. Okay. We may just want to snap, but we're not going to draw into anything that's going to tie up our mana, really. Oh, boy. He's going to attack. We will now have to put this on you. Trade. We can tap for three. We can try and... And then he's got so much damage in the air. I think we just have to snap this to buy us time. Actually, we can do it on his upkeep because if he counters it, he won't have enough mana to pump for lethal. Well, he actually might. You know, we're just going to snap it now. This is the worst. This match is terrible. Now he might worry about casting that. Yep, he's just going for it. We're going to let it go. If the Delvers flip, we might have a chance. Okay, we're going to let that go as well.
And is he he's sending in? All right, looks like he may have a ninja here. So we definitely want to put Cloud on the sprite and maybe on the other sprite. If the Delvers flip, we can block both the fairies with them. We go to seven. We have to put Delvers on the fairies, put the Spire Golem on that. So we might actually have to block a Geist now, but the problem is it becomes a 3-3. Take six, we go to seven. We block the Frostburn Weird with the Spire Golem. No, we only take five. Okay, so yeah, we're going to do this. We lose a guy, he loses two. Ninja us also. Another thing to think about. He's going to ninja the spell stutter sprite. Yeah. So we take seven. He draws a card. Oh, this is getting ugly. And he's, his last card is spell stutter sprite. Uh, so we're dead. Block you. Wow, just completely flooded both of these matches. Um, I'm fairly certain that I didn't do everything correctly, but one thing I can tell you is being this flooded and not never flipping Delver for either game is pretty absurd to have that happen to us. So I'm not too upset about the events because we didn't have much control over them. So, you know, definitely worth reviewing this game and this match to see if there was anything else we could do, but... You know, essentially we're just dead here. So, yeah, I guess we, well, I guess we're not totally dead. I mean, how do we get out of this? We flip on accumulated knowledge or something. He's going to counter it with spell setter sprite. I mean, we have to block there. What if we block this? No, sorry, what if we... Block this, chump this, chump this. No, that's terrible. Alright, we're just dead, but... I didn't realize we were... Still alive, at least for a turn, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> and the most irrelevant spell we could possibly draw. Alright, well we're taking a dive in the mirror. Uh, he did have a composition that was pretty effective against us. Frostburn Weirds and Stormbound Geist after board. But... Yeah, we're dead no matter how we slice it. So we'll see you back for round number two. Thanks for watching.